Now then, suppose you have a distribution. And let's say we've got some, some numbers. Let's say I've got 25, 27, 32, um, 36, and then 40. And suppose I want to find the uh, summation or the sum of, let's say, x minus um, 20. So how am I going to do this? So basically what we do, you take each of these values and you subtract 20. So 25 minus 20 is 5, 27 minus 20, we get 7, 32 minus 20 is 12, 36 minus 20 is 16, and then 40 minus 20 is 20. All right, so let's add these up. 5 plus 7 plus 12 plus 16 plus 20. So I'm going to do 60. So therefore, that's going to turn into 60. And if I want to find, let's say, summation of x minus 20 to the square. So now what we're going to do, summation of x minus 20 all squared. Take each of these values and then you square them. After squaring each of these values, you should add them up and you'll reach a number. So we've got then uh, 5 squared, 7 squared, which is 25 plus 49 plus 144 plus 256 plus 400. So we're looking at 875. Now, let us suppose if you were given, now you know what this means and what that means as well. Let's suppose the question comes like this in the exam. So you've got, um, let's say, fine, the mean, the variance, and standard deviation, For um, these, uh, for let's say, well, how many? One, we've got uh, let's see, observations one, two, three, four, five. For these five observations, okay, for these five observations. Now, and suppose you were given just these, and and you don't know anything about this distribution, but you were just given the you were just given this summation of x minus twenty as we found there was sixty, and then summation of x minus twenty all squared, which we found was eight hundred seventy four. So now behind the scene, you know how we've reached these values. Okay, you see the calculations there. But let's say you don't have these, now you only have this piece of information here. And you want to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of these. So, how do we find the mean for this one? Basically, finding the mean is not very hard. So what you do, you find the coded mean first. What I mean by the coded mean is that you take the summation of x minus 20. It's coded because the you don't know the distribution, so right, but you know it's 20 is taken away from it, so it's coded, all right, so therefore x minus 20 is equal to 60 observation, and then you divide by the number of observation was how much? We've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, 5 observations, so you just divide by 5, and you're going to get your coded mean, which is then 12, but you want the actual mean. So the actual mean is going to be equal to 12 plus the 20 here. So basically we're looking at 32. Suppose you want to check this out now, say from the original values. If you were to find the mean of these, how would you do this? You just add these up, say, say 20, 20, I mean 25 plus 27 plus 32 plus 36 plus 40. You're going to get 160. 
So you take 160 divided by 5, and you get the mean as 32. So this is the mean of x, 32. And this is what we found here, 32. It's exactly the same as the one on top there. So you see now how we use these coded values. The second thing I want to find is the variance. Well, the variance is pretty much easy because you just need to apply your formula. All right, so to find the variance, we're talking about the variance of x minus 20 here. What you do, you take the summation of x minus 20 to the square divided by n minus the summation of x minus 20 divided by n all squared. But use the coded mean, all right? So what we're saying then is the summation of x minus 20 to the square was found to be 874. So 874 divided by total number of observations is 5 minus the mean, and the mean is, the coded mean is 12. So it minus 12 and all of that to the square. So let's do this in a calculator. 874 divided by 5. Okay, which comes to this, minus 12 to the square. <coughs> so you get 30.8. So here's your variance, is 30.8. Now the standard deviation. Standard deviation is basically the sigma, which is uh, then the variance <coughs> of x, I mean, take the square, here it's x minus 20, basically. So we're going to find the standard deviation, which is then the square root of the variance of these values. So take the square root of this, and you reach 5.55. So the answer to that is 5.55. So this is how we go about and find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of summation of values okay so there we go i hope this uh, has been of help thank you now suppose you want to find the variance of the following distribution um for variance it follows that you can use one over n is um, in times x minus the mean of x to the square and that should give you the variance basically so suppose we want to find x minus the mean of x well, these are the values of x and the mean of x if you want to find the mean basically the mean is summation of x divided by n and summation of x if you were to add all these numbers you get 160 and then divided by 5 and your mean turns out to be 32 that means x bar which is the mean is 32 so what we're going to do we're going to say x minus the mean and what is x 25 25 minus the mean so we got then 1 over 5 as well so the variance we're looking for the variance of x okay so 1 over 5 into okay so these values x minus the mean 25 minus 32 all right, so let's take 25 minus 32 turns out to be minus 7. So you got then minus 7, all squared, plus then you've got 27 minus 32, which is minus 5 to the square, because 27 minus 32 is minus 5. 32 minus 32 is 0, so we've got 0 squared, plus 36 minus 32 is 4 to the square. And then finally you've got... Um, Let's just pull this off. 40 minus uh, 32 is 8 in order of that to the square. So we're looking at 1 over 5 into 49 plus 25 plus 0 plus 16 okay, plus 64. So let's do it. Uh, that should then be equal to 49 plus uh, 25. 16 plus 64, 154. So we've got 1 over 5 times 154. So divided by 5. And you've got your variance of x 
turns out to be 30.8. Therefore, I can also find the standard deviation. All right, so if I were to find the standard deviation, and that should be then the square root of 30.8, um, turns out to be 5.54. Let's say 5.55. I'm sure in a previous video you remember I've been working with the same values here but in a different fashion. Okay, we had all these values. We went and tried to find the summation of x minus 20, summation of x minus 20 to the square. We got all these values, and then after getting the values, we went on to find the mean variance and standard of these values of these observations, five observations in all. After we subtracted 20 from them, we got these. And finally, we used uh, some basic formula. All right, and we used the coded mean. Coded mean was found by taking the summation of x minus 20 is equal to 60, and all of that divided by the five observation. Here we are, and you get 12. That's the coded mean. But you wanted the actual mean. So the actual mean would be this 20 here. You need to add that 20 to 12. So 12 plus 20 and you've got the 32 as the mean and basically this is what we got there 32 and here as well in a different fashion there we got 32 and also we wanted to find the variance of x minus 20 so using the coded mean we use the formula first which is basically summation of x minus 20 all squared divided by n Okay, minus the mean, which is summation of x minus 20 over n to the square, the coded mean. And that turns out to be, it turned out to be that from the data that we were supplied with, x minus 20, summation of x minus 20 to the square was 874. So 874 divided by these five observations and the minus 12, the coded mean to the square, and you got your variance of x minus 20, which is also a variance of x. And here we are, the variance of x was found to be 30.8, and that's 30.8. And then the standard deviation, just the square root of these, as we just explained, turned out to be 5.55, and here again, the same value. All right, I hope uh, that this video has been of help, and basically, I just wanted to explain how to find the uh, standard deviation, the mean, and also the variance of these by using... Um, this for the variance 1 over n into x minus mean of x to the square is equal to the variance but i could help myself um, to go on and explain what was behind the scene in my previous video and i hope that this is going to be a great help to any one of you who is actually watching and uh, studying and learning and and taking some benefits from these lovely uh, worked solutions of questions Take care.